Well, it's a very big issue. There's very little going on in domestic British politics because of Brexit. There's not a huge amount of bandwidth in the government for coping with anything else. But housing is one of the big issues on the agenda. You know, after the NHS and defence cuts, um, it's, it's one of the big things that the government wants to get some achievement on. But so far, they've been finding it difficult. Most of the things require lots of money. Um, and it's very difficult with a prime minister with no majority to push through controversial measures. And a lot of people think that to get any movement on house building, you're going to have to have some controversial measures. I think there's a reasonable cross-party consensus that we need to get on and do some house building and that most of the things that need to be done are pretty obvious. Some of them involve uh, developers and land banking. Some of them involve planning rules. Some of them involve using government land um, to get him you know, to do the building. Um, the question is whether, you know, central government or local government has the, the money to get on and do it. I would say housing's more of a vote loser than a vote winner. Uh, not doing anything about it could be disastrous for this Conservative government. Uh, they are losing the votes of people under the age of 45 um, and failure to tackle that uh, could make it impossible for them to win the next election and they're very conscious of that, at least a lot of their MPs are, but that doesn't make it any easier for them to do anything about it.